What's going on everyone and welcome back to a new video on the channel. Welcome to a new car. And it's this. It's the Volkswagen Double Cab Pickup. <laughs> it's just Oh my god. Right. I love it. I love it. It's due to the fact that it's just such a weird car. I love when they add just random strange cars into into Horizon. I think it's just such a good idea. They need to do this more often as well, because we're kind of te technically getting twice the amount of cars that we should be getting during a week, or sorry, a month, or a whole, like, season of this, which is very, very sick, if you think about it, right? So in the summer season, we got a new car, uh, in the autumn season, we got a new car, in winter season, we got a new car, and then even here, we get a new car, which is a Mercedes-Benz 500E. But not only that, but every single week, we actually get a new car from one of the races here. So you can either get the Lancia Fulvia again is a new car. You get the uh, where's this thing? The two what, what's it called? Uh, the DS twenty three. That's another new car. And then in the winter season you get another new car again. Like I said, it's just I actually completely forgot about the Lotus Esprit here. Did I get this thing? I swear I got the Lotus Esprit. Wait, look, the content is no longer available. It says, but I swear I got the Lotus Esprit. I don't know. I don't even know. It doesn't really matter. Regardless, now, in the spring season, uh, there's another one, and you get this thing. The VW Doka, basically, which is called. Uh, it's basically the, the double cab pickup truck. It's cool. I love it. it. It's very weird. It's quirky. It's just dumb, pretty much. But, uh, yeah. I wanted to try and see if you can do anything to this, to this van pickup. Sorry, it's not a van. Not anymore, anyway. Let's do some things to it. Completely stock, it's slow. I mean, it's D-Class 100. It is the lowest possible class it can be. But, can we push to swap this thing? Okay. We could put a Honda engine in it. We could put a Subaru engine in it. Another Subaru engine in it, I think, right? A two and a half liter flat four turbo. This is another Subaru engine, right? Another Subaru engine in it. But it's rally. Yes. This is what I wanted. I wanted a Porsche engine. I wanted to slap a Porsche engine in this thing. <laughs> it's rear engine, rear wheel drive. I feel like I should really all wheel drive swap this thing because <laughs> it might not be a good idea to keep this thing stock. I feel like it'd just be very stupid if I do. Okay, turbo as well. What are you looking at visually? Uh, it just looks weird without the front end. Have you guys ever seen the movie The Iron Giant? Is that what it's called? That's what this reminds me of. If you take the whole front end off this thing, the actual bumper off it, it just looks like that. What are we looking at for the rear end? Oh god. Nah, I don't like it. I want to keep it very close to stock. Even the wheels I kind of want to keep stock. Um, we could change to a bunch of different type of wheels for for this thing. I don't even know what to build it for. What what would this be even good for? I don't I don't know if this is actually going to be good for racing or anything, but I'm willing to try. Regardless, like I said, I don't think this is going to be incredibly good for racing. Um, okay, let's let's try it anyway. Let's see if anything is possible with this thing to make it good for racing. We'll keep it to like the top of A class, I think. I think we should probably be doing that. That should, that should be kind of all right. Uh, just any sort of diff works, I guess. Um, transmission again, we'll change that. Uh, don't really want to change anything there. Brakes, we can adjust, or we can change our brakes. I'm gonna get at, like, any, anything crazy with the brakes. We can put drift suspension on this thing. I'm kind of tempted to slide it as well. But at the same time, maybe off-roading. Maybe this could be good for off-roading. I don't know. But I kind of want to try and race this thing and see what it's like. I think completely... Completely modified like this. Um, I don't know. I don't know if S1 was good for this, though. That's the thing, right? Like, my handling is at 4.8, which is awful. It's just straight up terrible. What if I change this thing? No. I, it's, I don't think it's going to be good. That handling number there isn't really, like, the end-all be-all, basically, of how this car is going to handle. It's just, I feel like it's just not going to be a good handling car. I don't know. The only thing that I can really see this being built for is drifting. And that's literally only the only thing. So, unfortunately for the people that don't want to see me drift this thing, uh, sucks to suck, because I'm going to end up building this thing for drifting. 
Here's the thing as well, what I'm going to do with this car. Is I'm going to try and build it for point drifting. So it's going to be for, for my competition thing. I want to see if I'm able to actually build it specifically for the event that I'm holding the competition on. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I have a comp, a drift comp that's going on right now. Um, and I'm... I'm just going to be messing around with, with some cars now and uh, try to see if I can get this thing. It needs to be at the top of A-Class. So that's probably what I'm, going to, what I'm going to build this thing up to. Um, so lots of revs, lots of power. I need a lot of torque as well. Um, I think I can pretty much max this thing out. Can I? I think it's fine like this. I mean, it's almost 1 to 1 power to weight ratio. Interesting. I think I changed my tires as well to drag tires. So here's the thing, right? There's not really anything crazy that I can really build this thing for, but yeah, I did change the drag tires. So let's try and build this thing up and um, and mess around and try and see if I can do any sort of drifting with it. What about the paints? Surely this thing has a bunch of like crazy paints for it, right? Uh, not really. <laughs> it just looks it just looks like a band aid if I keep it like this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh my god, wait, it surely it's not gonna go into like a V-shape, right? If I go to the to the bonnet and I end up changing the paint on that. Wait, I wanna have a look again. Go back in. Is it just... Ah, oh, it'd be so funny to <laughs> just paint the front end. It, the thing is, though, it doesn't open, right? There's nothing there for it to open, because the engine's in the back, everything's in the back. That's just a, a like a, a panel that's just on the front. Mirrors, again, we can't change. Wheels, we can't change, but I don't really want to. Our spoiler we can't change. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> I want this thing to look kind of stock, but at the same time, I also want it to be, like, crazy. Porsche engine. Drag tires. I wonder if this thing is capable of pulling some serious angle. Or some serious points. I guess we'll have a look. So yeah, if you guys have seen any of my previous videos recently, then you know that this is the drift zone that I'm going to be messing around on. Uh, I want to try to see if I can get close to the 437,000 points that I have in the in the Renault over there. Uh, so let's give it a shot and try it with this thing. Because I, I don't know what else to really build this thing for. I guess this is a good idea for me to like kind of promote the the actual event that I'm doing. Oh, I'm going wrong way. So if you guys would like to take part in it, go join the Discord. Link to that is down below. But I wanted to build this thing just to see if it's capable of of holding some sort of angle. Uh, yeah? I'm not on sim steering. And it's noticeable. Oh, interesting, interesting. Okay. Well, I kind of like this. It's not bad. But it's not like anything crazy. I just put a basic kind of setup on this thing. For point drifting. So we'll see if... If from here, uh, one sec, I need to change my gears, right? I want to shorten my gears a little bit because I think fourth is actually quite useful, but it's just a tiny bit too long for all the corners here. So third for the for the tighter corners. I can't drive off road by the looks of things. As soon as I drive off road with the drag tires, it just fully messes it up. It, the, the car just falls down. Oh, we'll take it. <laughs> the smack off the wall is mad. Okay. I'm so slow. I am way too slow here. This thing needs to start picking up a bit of speed. It's okay. It doesn't like... It doesn't like do anything crazy. Or maybe it's just my driving. I know I'm rewinding by the way, but like... I, I still have no idea how to drive this thing yet. It's my first attempt of taking this thing out. And it's, it's still a little odd. I need to start adjusting like minor things on it if I want this thing to be actually... 
a very effective point trip build. Oh my god. It just goes so wide. Yeah, it's not a bad care, but I definitely wouldn't consider this thing as... ...as a worthwhile using care. Not at the moment, anyway. Not not with my build or, or anything, but... Let's try to see if we can at least squeeze out 400,000 points. Okay. Yeah, I think I think 400,000 points is... ...is gonna be the limit with this thing. Oh, I'm going too slow. I'm going too slow. Maybe stock tires would probably be a better idea with this car. I wonder. I wonder if stock tires would be an improvement. Yeah, 412. It's not it's not great. Honestly, the way it picks up speed is not too bad. I'll take it 430. I'll take it. That's not terrible. Alright, let's see what it's like with a different tune. Slightly different, nothing too crazy. It's still my tune, I just adjusted it slightly from the last time that you've watched the run. I've tried to make it so... It's a little bit easier to handle. Yeah, I'm not gonna get the points for it though. It does pick up speed very quickly, though. That's really nice. More, 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 more inwards, 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 inwards. It stays on the handbrake for ages, though. Like, a long time. And it picks the speed really nicely. It overall, it's a it's a solid car. I like it for point drifting. Like it, it's good. I don't think it's gonna be like anything record breaking or anything like that. I feel like someone is gonna make a better tune for this thing than, than I just did now. But yeah, and once you lose it, once the front end just like leaves you just like that, and it goes into a reverse entry, it, it's over. Like the same. I won't. I can't handle it. Like it just it leaves. Like it just. There's no way I can catch it back again. Like I said, what I do like about it is how nicely it sits on the handbrake and how nicely it picks up speed. It's just that steering angle, I think, ruins it. Because you can see how little I'm... How little angle I have. See, like here, no problem at all. No problem at all with picking up speed or... Anything like that. It's just the lack of steering angle with it. And I think it's just to do with this thing being rear-engined. I'm pretty sure that's that's it. Because, I mean, there's a lot, there's, like, and it's just too long. If it was, like, a tiny car, right? I mean, it's a, it's a pickup truck from the 1960s. Like, what do you really expect? But if it was a little car, like a small, a small car, I think the Beetle would probably, like, be a much better car than this. For all-wheel drifting like this. But it's just funny to try and even just do it with this, with this thing. Because it's just a funny looking thing to try and take outside of us. And it's capable of doing like 430,000 points. And even with some better driving, I think it's going to be able to do maybe like 440. But it's just, it's hilarious to me that this thing is capable of doing this sort of stuff. But I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't think that this is, this is a really good point drift car. So if you want to use this thing for the competition, go for it. But if you, uh, if you want to try and actually compete with some of the other guys, don't use this thing. It's just not that good. But I like the power and weight and, and grip that this thing has. It's just, like I said, the steering angle, I think, just ruins it for me. Because it's kind of lacking in that department. If you keep behind the revs, you're kind of sorted. That's the, that's the thing, though. Like, you have to... I think that'll help a lot if you, if you keep it really high in the revs. And you have the front wheels constantly spinning. If you drop in the revs too low... Like, for some of these corners... And your front end just won't have the grip, but if you're just continuously accelerating with it... Then it's able to actually be able to catch itself. Not that badly. 
So it's not only just my driving that's that's an issue here, but oh sorry, I mean it's not only the car that doesn't have a, a huge amount of steering angle, but it's also just my driving as well. Like points wise, it's it's still able to pull in some some dirty points here, which makes it funny. I try and attempt to do runs like this. Oh my god, what was that for an entry? The exit was not great, but... <laughs> that is... Hilarious. It's just the fact that I'm doing it in kind of like a weird van pickup truck. It just makes it a funnier experience. But yeah, I think I think four thirty thousand points is gonna be my my max for this video. I don't think I'm gonna get any way higher than that. Yeah, four twenty eight. I think with someone that's that's a better tuner or a better um, better driver, they could probably pull off slightly more. But yeah, <laughs> it's just. It's just a fun experience to try and slide this thing like that. It is just jokes. Alright, well that's it. Brand new car added into the game. This is the only thing that I could think about um, doing with this thing. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.